Hello. Today we'll be talking about how pigments are made. Specifically, we'll be looking at a blue pigment that will end up in many of the things you come across in your daily life. For example, this pigment may be used to create the blue on a Pepsi can. It may be used in makeup or in the paint on your car. So let's get started. Raw ingredients are brought in on trucks, mostly in large bags or drums. These ingredients include minerals, binding agents, salt, and others. These ingredients are then milled, crushed, mixed, or kneaded, depending on what the formula calls for. Operators pay careful attention to the temperature, pH, and salinity of the products. Samples are taken along the way and sent to the lab to ensure strict quality control. Here an operator bags a sample. As you can see, the lab has many samples to test. One special process that is used is called spray drying. In this process, a very thick slurry is pumped into a drying chamber where very hot air dries out the atomized slurry. This process creates a very fine and consistent particle size. Let's see how this looks out in the plant. Here an operator prepares to load a slurry tank. You can see this man is thrilled that I'm filming him. This batch of slurry is all ready to go. Here an operator measures the dry content of the slurry. This helps him estimate how much color he's gonna get from this batch. Typical dry contents are around 25%. The operator runs the dryers from these panels. Inlet and outlet temperatures are monitored by computer. Here you can see a spray head. This operator is doing some maintenance. The spray head spins very fast, 20,000 RPM. Some of the lines coming out of the top are chill water to keep the motor cool and light oil to lubricate the upper and lower bearings. Here's a look at the atomizer disc. This one has been drying some red. The drying chamber is very tall, over four stories. This dryer can create 250 pounds an hour. Now the operator collects the product. This bag got overfilled a little bit. You may think everyone that works here is a little blue, but on Friday, all that blue turns into green. Again, samples are taken for the lab. These bags are all ready to ship out the door. A little bonus for any electrical or electrical mechanical students out there, here we have a frequency converter, sometimes called a motor generator. This device drives the spray head motor. It takes three phase 60 hertz AC signal and converts it into three phase 300 hertz signal. These machines are quickly being replaced by variable frequency drives or VFDs. These VFDs can vary the frequency and the voltage and easily control motor speed Thanks for watching.